Hiya folks, me again, Josh from York Maze, and welcome back to another edition of Craft Corner. Now, today we're going to be making the tractor trailer ride, which is called Chromania. Now, there's kind of two parts to this video, with there being two sections to the Chromania ride, the tractor and the trailer. So stick with us, don't get distracted, or you might trail behind. Right, so we'll kick things off with the tractor. Now this tractor is made out of two loo rolls. One of mine is slightly bigger than the other, which makes it slightly better for the base. So turn that one on its side and stack the other one on top. Cut the top section into two, probably just slightly above the halfway mark. And you're going to sit that on top of the base. Best way to get it to sit there is to cut little slits all the way around, fold those sections back into flaps, and then it'll sit on there nicely. You can go a bit further if you like, this is what I've done. I've cut out the front section, which just means it sort of sits a little bit more snugly onto the base. Now this back flap here, I folded that in and using masking tape, I'm going to tape that all together. You don't need to use masking tape, I just find it works a bit better when it comes to either painting it or papier macheing it a little bit later on. So tape it all together and you'll have something that looks like this. Now we're going to seal up the holes at the end of the rolls themselves. So grab a little bit of cardboard and you want to draw around the base twice and the top section once. Get a grown-up to help you cut those out with some scissors. And then you'll have three circles that you're able to place over the front, the back and the top. Tape all those on. Again, I'm using masking tape, but if you've not got that, that's fine. You can use sticky tape. I find the easiest way to tape it on. If you tape a cross across the circle, and then you can just sort of fold it over like that. Now, you'll notice that on my model, the top section is square as opposed to the kind of loo roll round section that we've got on this one. This is an optional extra. You don't have to do it, but if you do want to do it, measure a piece of cardboard at the same height as your top section of loo roll, cut it out, and then basically just fold it around the top section of loo roll, and it'll look like the front of a square tractor. Tape it on, and then if you need to, give it a little bit of a trim as well. That'll just help us a bit later on when we're papier macheing it if it's level with the top of the loo roll. We're going to mark up for the wheel axles now, so mark up with a pen or a pencil at the points at the bottom of the base where you want your wheels to go. I'm going to pierce it with this sharp compass. Do be careful if you're using sharp objects like compasses and scissors. It's always worth getting a grown-up to help with those bits. And what I'm doing here is I'm just widening it with the point of a pencil. That's going to make it a bit easier when it comes to pushing the axles through later on. So I'll widen this one as well. And then on the other side, on the opposite sides to the first two holes, pierce it with a compass or a pair of scissors and then widen it with a pencil. It's also probably worth making a little hole for the exhaust, so do that on the top with the same method. Now we're just going to check before we go any further that the axle holes line up alright. So I've got these lollipop sticks which work perfectly, but if you don't have those, you could use the inside of a biro. Just make sure that you tape the ends up so no ink falls out if you're using that. Or we're going to be using a matchbox tray later, so why not trim the end off a match and use that as an axle. Anything works, I've got these lollipop sticks, and as I say, we are just testing them out at this stage. So if all the holes line up and it works okay, then take them back out, because it's time to start papier mache -ing. Mix together approximately two parts PVA glue to one part water. If you need to add a little bit more glue, then go for that. You need to get the right consistency to be sort of a bit of a gloopy paste. Now, you're going to tear off strips of either newspaper or kitchen roll. I find personally that kitchen roll works a bit better. And they're kind of small little sections like this. Now, one section at a time, I'm going to paint the tractor and then paste on top a little section of kitchen roll or newspaper, it's up to you. You're going to keep doing this and keep layering up until the whole thing is completely covered in, uh, in papier mache. I'll be interested to see if you can do it as fast as me. I've got lightning speed hands. And it definitely is that, by the way, and not a time-lapse camera. Keep on going until it's all covered, and when it is, you'll have something that looks a little bit like this. Leave that somewhere warm to dry, so on a radiator or the airing cupboard or Marbella. It's up to you. But wherever you leave it, while we wait for it to dry, we're going to make a start on the wheels. I think bottle tops are the best thing to use, but you can use the outer casing of a tea light as well. Pierce a hole in the centre of whatever you're using as wheels. So in the centre of this bottle top, I'm going to pierce a hole with this compass, making sure you've always got something underneath so you don't go through onto the table. You need your hole to be big enough for the axle to fit in. And as you can see, I've got both of these wheels on here. And then I'm going to mix a little bit of black paint with some PVA craft glue so that it hopefully will stick to the plastic. So paint those 
Of course, they don't have to be black. You can paint them whatever colour you'd like, but I'm going to do mine traditional. And, as you can see, I've also made a smaller set of wheels for the front. Pop those to one side to dry, and we'll start work on the trailer. I'm using a matchbox tray for mine, but you could just make it out of cardboard if you wanted. You're going to turn it into whatever colour you would like, and you can paint it or colour it in with pens or whatever you want. Just make sure, whatever you do, that the whole thing is covered, including the inside and the bottom. Pop that to one side to dry, and only once the papier mache is set you can bring back your tractor before we paint this we need to re-pierce the holes that we made for the axles and the exhaust because most likely you'll have papier mache over them so do the same thing that you did before find the hole with your finger and then pierce it with the compass and the pencil pop the axles back through to make sure that it all works and if it does then take them back out and paint the tractor the same color as the trailer or a different colour, it's up to you. Be as creative as you want. You can use pens or paint, as long as the whole thing is completely covered. When you're done, stick that to the side to dry, and we're gonna spend that time working on the wheel trims. That's the yellow bits on the insides. Of course, you can do any colour you want. I've got some yellow card, but you could print card off or paint paper, it's up to you. Draw round one of the wheels, so I did the tea light in this case, and then cut out six of them. You'll need six large ones, because one, two, three, four on the trailer, two on the back of the tractor, and you'll need two slightly smaller ones for the front of the tractor. So draw around a smaller bottle top that I'm doing in this case, cut that out, and then turn it into two using magic. Or, of course, you could just cut another one out if you wanted. Now, I'm adding some detail to mine. Mine kind of looked like the inside of a slice of lemon, but you could do yours however you wanted. However you decide to do them, you will need to do all of them the same. Speaking of which, we're also going to make four identical rows of seats for the inside of the trailer. Now, the way I do mine is a sort of rectangle with a bumpy top to represent the seats. And this line here, you're going to fold along to create the sitting part. So cut out four of those and then add a little bit of detail with a felt tip pen or a bit of paint or however you want to do it. Now, I'm going to fold along this line, as I say, on each of them and then attach them all to the trailer using either a glue stick or craft glue. Just be careful if you're using craft glue, make sure you put the lid on. Or sticky tape, doesn't matter how you do it, as long as all the seats end up in the trailer so it looks a bit like this. And now it's the final touches, really. I've just added a little bit of detail with some marker pens to mine. You can put as much or as little detail as you want, really. I'm quite picky with stuff like that, so I quite like it to look realistic. But you could make yours look as wacky as you like. Although a handy little tip if you do want it to look realistic is that the grill on the front of the tractor looks great if you use the ring pull from a can. Whew, I don't know about you, but I'm exhausted. Speaking of which, we should probably do the exhaust. So I'm using a silver marker pen and creating a little rectangle, but tin foil is a perfectly acceptable alternative. Roll it into a little tube, hold it together with some sticky tape, and pop it into the little hole that you made earlier on. I've added a second one to mine by slightly flattening one end of a tube and taping it around the top cabin section of the tractor. We're wheelie wheelie almost done now, so if your wheels are dry, pop one of them off and pop the axle through. You might need to then trim the axle slightly so that it doesn't poke out too much and stick the other wheel back on the other side. Do the same at the front and then that will be your tractor very nearly finished. The axles on the trailer are slightly different, okay? We're not going to pierce them through. What I've done is placed a little bit of paper over the top of them and then sticky tape them on because then the axle will still turn, whereas if you just sticky tape them on, it'd be too much resistance. As you can see, I'm using a tea light for my wheels on the trailer, and you know the score with this by now. I've made it black with a marker pen, pierce it with a compass, make it a little bit bigger with a pencil, and slide it straight onto the axle. You can add a little bit of sticky tape to these ones if you would like, because they are less secure than the ones in the tractor, but apply all four wheels, and when you're done, you'll have something that looks like this. Final stage, then, is to pop all of your wheel trims inside the wheels themselves, and then when you've finished, your tractor trailer ride, inspired by the infamous Cromania ride at York Maze, is complete!